What's going on guys? Today we will talk about building real estate lead generation bot step-by-step -step guide. What to know? Real estate agents must buy leads. These leads are targeted uh, audience. Let me move my camera right here. Real, so you should know the difference between real estate agents, investors, and wholesalers. Real estate agents, general help for buyer or seller, uh, price negotiation, help with paperwork, needs license, fiduciary duty, wait, 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 wait. Fiduciary duty to act in the best interests of their clients. So ob obliged, required by law to act in the best interest of their clients. Investors buying property for 80 to 90% of market value and keeping it for renting and long-term value increase. Wholesalers finding uh, cheap property at 60 to 70% of their market value from people who need to sell urgently. For example, div divorcing people, legal issues, inheritance, couldn't sell for a long time, absentee owners, overseas owners, financial problems. Now, I would actually like, I, I just want to comment that going into some of these kind of uh, markets like divorcing and they're trying to kind of like extract as much value and like money from people who are divorcing. I, I, I see a bit of moral issue in those kind of businesses. I just want to know that. So you maybe don't want to like go that way. Um, so wholesalers usually sign the buying contract and then that and then sell that contract to investors for 80 to 90 percent of the market value of the property. Uh, how they currently generate leads. Mass SMS messaging, everyone asking, uh, um, everyone, mass SMS, uh, mass SMS message, everyone asking if they are selling a home. Must comply with data privacy and anti-spam. Uh, not the best I idea generally. So usually they do not mass, mess mass SMS. So this is something that some viewers on my channel want to like try, but this is not the way you want to do it because you must comply with anti-spam lo anti -spam laws and data privacy. What uh, agents do is they buy a list of lead leads from websites, companies that collect real estate leads through forms, landing pages, networks, other agencies, etc. They sell list of leads, names, phones, phone numbers, emails to real estate agents, investors, and wholes investors and wholesalers. Uh, those leads are potential sellers. Agents need to cold call or email them to ask if they are selling uh, condition. Of, to understand the condition of the property and uh, the price. We can automate this. Let me see the next. SMS WhatsApp aut automation. So in United States, people use, uh, mostly use SMS services. We will use Twilio uh, plus WordPress to send call SMS messages to leads. We will buy leads. We have a list of leads, potential uh, home owner sellers. We will use this to contact those leads. Rest of the world, WhatsApp is better in most countries, SMS in some. You need to do research for your country specifically. Uh, you can just ask ChatGPT. Okay, building minimum viable product. We need to start testing our services, service as quickly as possible. It's a big beginner mistake to build a lot without uh, talking to your clients. As, as a first step, just build the chatbot, for example, in WordPress and start contacting real estate agents, wholesalers, and investors. You can download my uh, lead qualifying and customer support chatbots from my Discord in the description. Find it in the My Resources channel on Discord. I will show how they work in this video a bit later. Uh, then you, it's important to talk to customers, adapt and improve the chatbots for your needs. Don't try to build without talking to customers fake metrics so fake metrics so you need to like know what you're measuring like your your measure should be revenue per month so if you are if it's a bit hard to get revenue per month then people start like measuring like how much like they're building developing i don't know those are all fake metrics you're wasting your time your rev your measuring metric is revenue per month if you are doing something else and you have, don't have revenue, that's that's a big mistake. You need to have a demo and then go start getting revenue. Just a small demo of your chatbot. Okay, uh, do not try to build without talking to customers' fake metrics. If you're not making any money, focus on getting clients with good enough chatbots. Getting clients. 
uh, working with somebody, let me just move my camera, working with somebody with connection, connections, wait, in real estate, wait, 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 where are you going? Working with somebody with connections in real estate market makes it a lot easier, but you need to provide equal value to them back. For example, developing the boss. Best way to find co-founders, colleagues, clients, customers. Make YouTube videos about what you do. It will not get this YouTube area will not get saturated in any time soon, maybe in like another year. There is a lot of demand for this con uh, content. I made this like I started making these videos like a week ago. I already got like 100 videos every 100 views every video. There's a lot of demand for this content and I have people contacting me. I met my uh, my I met my co-founders who was really good at real estate and sales through my YouTube. Other methods, cold email, cold, cold calling, Discord groups. You can join my groups, my group, Discord group. You can join other Discord groups like um, Leah Motley. And then I think there are some others, but I'm not aware to meet people. And when you are getting clients, you want to show them like something like this, this graphic. So you see right here, I'm going to tell them like I, I take I take a number that you give me and then I could I message called my bot messages the clients or leads. Then it's going to ask them, uh, what's your name? Oh, no, it knows the name. Are you selling the house? What time frame are you going to sell the house? What is the description of your house and what is the price? And then that's the bot is going to automatically like talk about that and then put it into a spreadsheet. How to present your present your chatbot to clients. Just record a small demo video explaining how it works and send it to them. Schedule meetings, get their feedback on their uh, on the product, understand their problems. I will create more videos where I will also help you understand problems in real estate that you can solve with AI. So that's why you should subscribe if you want to know that. Be honest that you are still building it and need improvements. Clients will know if you're lying. Don't, but the clients who are who want to try your uh, product, even though you're still building it, are ones who have really bad problems. And they will not stop talking to you if your product is not perfect because they know it's not perfect. Clients will not stop, so stop talking to you if your product has any issues. Uh, they already know it's new and that it has problems, but they are still hoping you can somehow solve their problem with it. Integrating Twilio and or WhatsApp. Twilio is for SMS messages used it in the United States. WhatsApp is for other country mostly messages. Maybe some countries use SMS as well. Mostly. Just Google Twilio WordPress integration or WhatsApp WordPress integration. I will make a video another time, but this is not important until you have clients. Your metric that you are measuring is revenue per month. Do not measure anything else. Do not measure like how big, beautiful website you have. It's a fake metric. Beautiful website, beautiful job, but no, revenue per month. Uh, not important until you have clients who want to buy buy your product. Focus on only bot press bot demo and talk talking to clients first. Now let's see the bots you can download on my Discord. So I'm gonna show you how I build these two bots. I'm gonna go through them. You can download them on my Discord or you can make them yourself. So the first bot we're gonna see is lead qualifying bot for SMS and WhatsApp. He's basically basically talking to potential leads and saying, how uh, are you selling? What's the condition of the property? How much money? And then customer support bot for sp specific property. So this is this bot knows everything about a specific property. When you are want to buy it, rent it, when you are in it, you can talk to this bot about that specific property. For example, um, can I buy this? How much does it cost? What's the rent? Does it have how many bathrooms? Is there a, a store nearby? Where can I, are pets allowed? Is smoking allowed? Or you can report my pipe is leaking in the kitchen. My pipe is leaking. My this, that. So this, that's the second bot. Now let's take a look at them. Okay, right here. So I'm gonna, if you are download this from my Discord, then you wanna go here in the top left corner. You wanna uh, open this menu and say import and then import from file. Click that and then choose the bot that you downloaded. Okay. So here you're gonna see like, um, like something up here. So this up here, you can completely ignore that. This is like some old bot that I was making. This is not connected to anything. You can completely ignore that, but I just left it here if you, if you wanna check it, but this is useless. So the only bot that we have is right here. So what it does, okay, so this bot uh, is, this bot is called SMS or called WhatsApp messaging of leads. 
So we have uh, in this bot, we have four, three variables. These two variables are for the previous bot that's disconnected. So we have transcript and user response and AI response. So the first uh, execute code, what it does, don't be afraid of this. So first we're gonna set workflow.transcript. So the var our variables are stored in the object workflow. If you want to programmatically change our vari variables, you say workflow.transcript, for example, that means you're accessing properties of the object workflow. And this, these are some of the properties are these uh, variables. I'm gonna set it to empty string because we are resetting it. AI response is basically what the AI is going to say in the chat. So AI is going to say, hello, I'm Sarah, an AI language model made by your company. Um, I noticed the listing indicating you might be interested in selling a blah, blah, blah. And then we, the transcript, you want to keep the entire conversation in the transcript so the AI has reference to the entire conversation. Okay, then we have, we have a transition. This is expression with condition true. Okay, let me see. So there is this workflow, selling workflow. So first of all, user response. So this is a capture input field, raw input. Uh, the question we're going to ask is AI response. I told you AI response, it was what AI said, what's AI, what AI is saying, like AI's turn. So the question to ask, it's not a question, it's just a statement. It doesn't have to be whatever the AI says. And then we're gonna store a uh, response into user response variable. Then we have some execute code here. We're gonna just add to transcript user and then workflow user response. So whatever user said, we're gonna add that to the transcript. We wanna keep the transcript. Then we have AI task block execute, uh, no, uh, AI task block AI response. So AI task input. You are an AI chatbot working for a real estate broker. It says um, contact leads. You are contacting leads. You need to get the price. Are they selling a property like conditions and everything? And then AI task input. This is the transcript up until this point and then give it entire transcript. And now it, it like has entire transcript. It knows what, it knows what the conversation is. So for example, if the, if the AI is asking, um, are you selling? And then the user says, I'm selling after my dad dies. The AI is not going to say, oh, that's great. When are you selling? The AI is going to, the AI is going to see like that, what the user said, and it's going to say, uh, I'm, I'm, the AI was going to say, I'm sad to hear that. If you need any help, uh, I can. you can contact me and stuff. We're gonna put the result into AI response, execute code here. Let me see. So we're just gonna add AI response to transcript. I'm saying you because this transcript is used by AI. So it knows I'm talking to you. So to the AI plus equals means you are appending this to the end of transcript. You are not overwriting. If it was equal, you would be overwriting transcript. And now we have this uh, expression, which is transition. And here we have duplicate completely the same node. The reason I have duplicate node here, same as here is because otherwise like there is a bug. So what I want to do is this should actually go back in, in itself to keep like infinitely repeating the conversation between AI and user, but it doesn't work for some reason. So I just have like two nodes and then this goes here, it's the same note, this goes back here. So this is the customer support called outreach. So did I actually forget anything? I, I don't think so. I don't think so, I didn't forget anything. Okay, now let's check the other bot that is customer support for a specific property. So it starts the same. We actually, let's see variables. So also there is like some kind of old bot that we're not using, I'm not using anymore, but you can take a look at what it is, but I'm not gonna, it's useless. We need transcript user response, AI response is the same, but just, so everything is the same. I don't need to explain everything again. The only difference is AI response here. So this is AI task. You are an AI chatbot developed to provide 24 seven customer service for prominent real estate company. And then it says, this is the data that, about the property. It's a luxury villa here uh, for sale. Yes, for Airbnb, yes. Renting price, sale price. And then you can say, uh, you are you provide customer support put your needs over your clients needs it says somewhere here and then it says like it has gym it has this it has that it doesn't have this smoking allowed not allowed etc everything else is the same the ai is going to generate this make sure if you are changing ai task to always change it in both of these because 
until they fix this, in this case, we need to have two of them. So if you, whatever you change in this node, you need to change this node because they need to be like exactly the same. You can find this in my Discord server um, in the My Resources tab. I'm making videos every day, maybe even multiple to help you to understand real estate and then also like WordPress and everything else. Come to Discord, ask any questions. I will be there as well. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.